Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first look of some Fly Sports boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Uber of the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms just sending junkie bits. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm excited to bring you an unboxing and first look of some 14 ounce Fly boxing gloves. As you can see here, these are still packed and just delivered from Fly Sports out of the UK. And I'm really excited to do this unboxing with you guys to see how these look fresh out the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this box open and see what's on the inside. Of course, I always use my semi-dull knife that I use to cut these boxes open. Um, if you guys have seen a previous review, Fly actually has a really nice presentation with their boxing equipment um, and their boxing gloves. They use their own custom box. So again, whenever you're opening your boxing equipment, just be really careful when you cut these open. And the last thing you want to do is cut your, your gloves or cut the leather on the inside, or in this case, damage the box that these gloves come in. So let's carefully cut this open. You can see that they use a standard cardboard box to, uh, to ship these in. So nothing too crazy. They do a nice job of taping everything up. And uh, try to get this cut open. Just being really careful with that. And then from there, just I like to just kind of tear everything open like that. There we go. And here we have it. So, again with presentation, you can see that Fly likes to use this cardboard box. And remove that, put that to the side. And here you have it. So. As you can see, it comes in this nice black box with the Fly logo on the front. And then it has an envelope here. Gray envelope from Fly, which is the actual invoice for this product. So you have the invoice from Fly right there. This is Fly Sports UK LTD, and they're out of Bishop's Stort Ford. Hertz. Not really familiar with the city codes or the actual locations in the UK, but hopefully one of these days I'll get a chance to go and visit and see it for myself. So you have that invoice there comes in a really nice gray envelope. Everything about the presentation of this is really, uh, really high class and professional. So we have that invoice right there. And then onto the gloves, you can see it comes in the box. It has this little twine or drawstring that goes around it to keep it closed. I'll push that off to the side there. And then of course you have the gloves on the inside. So you can see here it comes with this nice cotton bag or cotton line bag right there for the gloves. I'll take these out and put this box inside as well. And then the actual gloves. So here here we have it. I'm going to open this up. And here are the gloves. And man, these look fantastic. Damn, these look really good. Put this glove right here. So here is the right glove. And here is the left, left side glove right there, as you can see. Beautiful gloves. So these are a maroon, silver, and cream color scheme. It almost looks white. It's, it's kind of an off-white, uh, but with a silver contrasting color. You can see that the silver is a, a metallic silver and it really shines. And these are a 14 ounce Velcro. Um, if you guys saw my other review of the blue ones, those were 16 ounce lace-ups. So I decided to go with the Velcro and these just look really fantastic. Looking at these, the craftsmanship is just top-notch. All of the stitching looks really fantastic. The leather is really nice and supple. It really reminds me of a high-end Italian handbag where it has this really nice smell. The leather is not like any other boxing glove leather that I've seen. It's not like winning and it's definitely not like Pleto Reyes. So you can definitely tell there it's kind of proprietary in that in that way that the leather on this glove is its own kind of hide that you could only source from that region in the UK. And I believe that fly refers to it as, as Scottish hides. So 
As far as where exactly they get the leather hide from, I'm not too sure. Obviously, that's information that they probably won't, won't share with anybody, but looking at it, again, it has a really nice, supple feel. The leather, you can tell just by the feel, the smell looks really high grade. All of the details look great. The thumb metallic is really smooth. And also the fly logo on the back side is silver metallic as well. You can see that the four inch Velcro strap is done really nicely. Everything is stitched on. And then it has the silver piping that goes along the Velcro strap. The actual feel of the glove is has a really nice broken in feel. Let me go ahead and put the left side on too. I didn't realize by coincidence that my shirt is actually the same color of the glove. I just realized that now, and I did not plan that. But ironically, I just figured that my shirt actually matches these gloves now that I think about it. So I guess it was meant to be, right? And uh, here's the left side glove so you can see how they look on my hand. So these are 14 ounce, so these are a little bit more compact than my 16 ounce lace-ups. I wanted to go with a little bit more compact glove just so I can see how they, they felt as far as the hand compartment goes. So they feel really comfortable. They're not too snug, but they're snug enough to where you don't feel like your hand's gonna move around on the inside there. So again, there goes that four inch strap with the silver piping and the cream color. So all in all, man, these are just beautiful gloves. Again, if you were to purchase these from Fly Sports, their gloves start anywhere from about $400 US dollars on up. Um, and I believe that's about 320 uh, British pounds. So just depending on where you're, you're currently located and the currency conversion, you can use that calculator online. Google offers one to where you can calculate the cost of these gloves. And of course, if you do do custom gloves, the prices vary based on what kind of leather you're using. If you're using metallics or if you're using some kind of exotic material, that obviously will make the prices go up higher. But overall, I'm super satisfied with these gloves, man. These look fantastic. Probably some of the best craftsmanship that I've seen out of any of the gloves I've owned. Comfort-wise, these feel really good as well. The thumbs actually feel really nice on this as well. The 16-ounce ones I had, I had a little bit of an issue at first with my thumbs kind of jamming at the very tip of the thumb compartment. But with these, these feel really good. I don't feel like my thumb is, is jamming at the top um, with these gloves. So maybe this is just a little bit more depth in the actual thumb compartment compared to the other models but who knows every every pair of glove is a little bit different especially if they're handmade they're never going to be exactly the same even though they use the same leather cut and I'm sure they use the same dyes that they use to cut the leather sometimes there's just a little bit of a difference and that can make a big difference especially when you're using putting your hand in and using these on the bags every day so beautiful gloves I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing video if you guys have any questions make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.